Hello, I'm Diana Saavedra, your proud superintendent, and I'm at your Young Women's STEAM Prep Academy, where we are inspiring talented ladies for a successful future in a wide range of disciplines. YWA opened in 2017 as the country's only single gender new tech campus. Since then, our excellent teachers and school leadership have fostered a culture of empowerment and success. This June, we are looking forward to seeing these seniors walk across the stage as the school's first graduating class. What an exciting time to be part of YWA and El Paso ISD. This month, our Board of Trustees approved measures that will be a great benefit to employees. The new Employee Emergency Leave Donation Pool allows eligible district employees to donate their sick leave hours to colleagues who are, have exhausted their own leave accruals. The board also approved a second round of employee retention stipends to be distributed in June 2023. Thank you to our employees for your hard work and commitment. These are just a couple of the many ways we are making El Paso ISD the region's destination district for teachers and staff. Trustees also approved the use of two state grants to make our district safer. The grants will enhance the capabilities of our El Paso ISD police force to make campuses safer by providing them with bulletproof shields and silent alarms. Safety and security in schools is always top of mind. Board members also received an update on the district's use of ESSER federal funding. Administration shared not only how the money is being used, but more importantly, how it aligns with our hopes and dreams realized strategic blueprint. We are putting our money where our goals are. We also shared an update on our bond. The district is under budget and making progress on the completion of our projects. We hope you have seen our modern facilities, such as the Andrus Performing Arts Center and the newly renovated Bobby Joe Hill Pre-K through 8 School, to name a few. They are not only sleek buildings, they also are equipped with cutting edge technology to educate our children. We look forward to continuing to beautify and update El Paso ISD. Thank you, taxpayers. I want to congratulate one of our seniors from Franklin High School, Max Serrano, who is one of five students from the area who have been accepted to Med Future. This is an exciting new partnership between UTEP and Texas Tech University Health Science Center, El Paso. Max will be admitted to the Paul L. Foster School of Medicine after completing his undergraduate degree at UTEP. Congratulations, Max. Congratulations also to nine seniors from schools throughout the district who were named recipients of the prestigious Terry Foundation Scholarship. This is an award that will cover the full cost of up to eight college semesters. This year, El Paso ISD had the most Terry Scholars in the region. To learn more about these admirable students, visit our website at episd.org. The month of April will close with a celebration honoring our Teachers of the Year and Educational Support Personnel of the Year. The top 10 finalists have been revealed and the winners will be named April the 28th. Although one winner in each category will be named, we are blessed with wonderful and dedicated teachers and support personnel across our school district. We are proud to have them call El Paso's district home. Looking ahead, El Paso ISD night at the Chihuahuas is May the 5th. I hope you will join us at Southwest University Park to catch performances from our Chapin and Coronado Mariachis and watch some great baseball. Check your email to get your specially priced tickets. We're getting close to the end of the school year. Let's get ready for the home stretch. Adelante together.